Oh, D2 started a video. D2, we're live here, and God damn you for ruining my intro. I am here with... Did I ruin your intro, or were you just too slow, D2? Maybe you made it better. I don't know, but... I don't know. I am here we with... We are uh... talking about some real Scooby-Doo crap. We're talking about some fucking ghosts. Yep, and I am here with a uh, creepy monkey. This is the DNF podcast. D2 and Friends, third podcast <laughs> episode. D2 and Friends. Pretty soon I might have to rename oh, wait, this podcast. Yeah, to the... I know, it's amazing, right? But any, either way, I might have to rename this just to the D2 and Creepy Show because it seems like you were on the last one and now you're on this one. Yeah. Is this, is this going to be the normal thing now where you're in every video? Yeah, because I have, I have, good, I have good fucking ideas. I'm just a chatterbox, okay? I'm I, I'm perfect for podcasting. But anyway, um, well, this week we are going to talk about something that mm, most people may believe in, some people don't believe in. And if you don't, fine, whatever. We do. It's like fucking. Je it's like your non-existent Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosts aren't real. Well, neither is a man who. Freaking water down some freaking wine, and then, like a damn broken telephone, got fucking passed down to being like a fucking god. I'm gonna stare at this Enderman from a distance and see if he fucking decides to be gay. So this week, oh, he's been a gay. He's being gay. Fuck so, you. I'm gonna die. So this week we decided to talk about paranormal experiences and ghost stories in general that we heard. <laughs> Or seen, or been a part of. Something that is never talked about <laughs> on any of our channels, ever. Yeah, because it's ghosts. Who the fuck will believe it? What the fuck? Skeptics. Why are you still here? They don't burn in the daylight. They don't burn in the daylight, D2. But anyway. Anyway, uh, why don't you talk about some of your experiences first? Oh, uh, okay, fine. Let's, uh... Since this was your idea... What? Yeah, let's talk about the thing that started this whole idea. The fucking Ouija board. Fuck the Ouija board. I don't fuck with dead things. I don't need no demon or yeah, spirits in my house. Yeah, I don't fuck house. with Ouija boards anymore. Tell them about that one time you did that you told me earlier. Yeah, well, um... So, okay, I gotta get the water. Hold on, give me a second. There's a fucking creeper there. Holy God. Okay, We're well, talking about spirits, paranormals, and I you're am, talking about creepers and skeletons. Yeah, well, okay, so, basically, I used this fucking Ouija board when I was, like, what, 14 or something? Yeah. Right? And then, um... Okay, so some things you need to know about my room. Uh, I had, um... I had a bunk bed, I had a couch, and then I had um, two mounted uh, fish, you know, like stuffed fucking things I caught. Yeah. So fuck you, vegans. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, what the fuck was that, man? <laughs> off to a good start. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be pissed off when they don't watch this podcast. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry. I mean... I'm fine with vegans, just not the fucking ones who are like, oh, all animals are like, I can't fucking remember where I was going with this. But that's a different subject I'm okay with vegans, it's just the fucking extremist ones, you know? I feel like that's the, like, general opinion of all things. Like, yeah, yeah. feminism's great until you fucking decide to make it where it's like, yeah, men don't matter anymore, it's just women. Oh boy! Anyway. I believe both genders fucking. Anyway, go yeah. on with your your story. Oh, oh yeah, fuck. You're okay, not topic. So you, 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 story. Distra you distracted me, you bitch. Okay, well <laughs> the thing is, so I use this Ouija board, right? And then, um, yeah. later on in that night, I went to bed. I had a fucking uh, nail thrown at me, like it was like. Uh, it wasn't like a big nail, it was like a little bigger than a finishing nail, I don't know exactly what size the nail was, but it, 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 long story short, it was like fucking whipped at me. Mm. I went to bed again, um, after being somewhat scared, but just thinking it fell off the ceiling as my fucking just woke up ass fucking thought at the time. Yep. However, when I woke up in the morning, so... Uh, the 
door was really far away from the bed and the couch. The fish were right above the, the couch. Yeah. And they were big fish. Like, it was like a 12-pound pike on, like, a, you know... Like, the pike wasn't 12 pounds anymore because it's stuffed, obviously, but the fucking board was, like, a good six pounds. Yeah. Anyways, I woke up. That thing was blocking the door, like... Standing up like straight, like tail to the floor, mouth to the ceiling, leaning against the door. So yeah. you, even if it was someone in my family just trying to mess with me, you know what I mean? They they could not have placed it there. Like I mean, the house I lived in was on a hill, so like my room was almost like three stories up. Okay, there was no way anybody could have got in, and no. that fish would have been like damaged, or I would have heard it if it fell. There was no way. It could do that <laughs> damn and ever since then i fucking i mean i didn't even get like like i can't even, like i didn't want to burn it right because i didn't want to release any fucking things from hell or some bullshit like that so what i did i i just buried it oh yeah <laughs> and that <laughs> it should still be there i mean it was a hell of a nice ouija board but like, I mean, it was, like, a handmade one by, like, you know, a person that I know, and it was fucking great. And, yeah, no, if, if I ever see her again, it's it's just like, yeah, no, you saw the Ouija board? No, it fucking conjured a demon, and I buried it in the backyard. <laughs> Anyways, that's my story of the Ouija board. Okay. What stories uh, do you got? Fine, I'll tell a story real quick. It's like, I'll tell a story real quick. Um, Is this a little story all about how your life got flipped turned upside down? Yes, I am the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, you really? You're <laughs> <black>? <laughs> You dumbass. <laughs> but anyway, this, this story right here, it's like a small story. It's like a small story. I was young. I was stupid. I was hanging out with one of my friends in town story you never heard before I'm, I'm gonna wait until later on near the end of this podcast to talk about that big story oh fuck but, oh uh, shit I'm almost dead I'm, I'm almost a ghost right oh, yeah. now fuck. Oh, oh yeah that was what I was thinking at the end of that the small story by the way was oh what? fuck was oh fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did he do did, he steal your, did the ghost steal your monster energy drink no but uh, uh, my later story is about a ghost that steal shit. <laughs> I was young. I was stupid. I was out in town. This was in broad daylight, by the way. I was with an old friend of mine. And yes, I was being young and stupid. And in my town, there's, I think there's four cemeteries. One of them is a Jewish cemetery. Oh, oh, what does that mean, D2? So, yes, me and my friend were specifically walking past that cemetery once. I made a stupid, freaking immature joke. No one was around us, and then a penny just came and got thrown at me. What the fuck? And no one was around. I didn't know where the fuck that was. Even my friend was freaked out about that. Yeah. And, and he oh, looked at me and goes, I don't mean, ever fucking say anything like that again. Yeah, well, Prefer I mean, still, they couldn't give you something worth like a higher value as well I'm just like what the shit yeah that freaked me out well uh, yeah especially the fact of how on the nose of it being like the lowest valued coin in your country yeah so yeah that would freak you out too if inanimate objects like shit that was thrown oh, at you I've had, I had a turkey bone for, okay so when I the room where the first incident with the Ouija board happened yeah. Um, that was like when I was living upstairs. I moved to the basement because I couldn't stand the heat of the house. Yeah. And I just wanted a bigger living space. Um, I had, um, like, first off, I don't know. Okay. For those of you who don't know, I'm fucking goth, okay? And I have a lot of spooky shit around my home. And Warm. on my one mirror, I just had a bunch of, like, piled up turkey, like, femurs. Like, you know, the really big bone in the leg. Yeah. You know? I had one of those chucked at me from, like, across the room mm. when I was lying in bed. Yep. There was no one else in the basement. 
And it's like the, the worst part is I didn't see it being thrown, but I saw it coming for me. Like I saw it before it hit me. It was straight up like horizontally. It didn't. It wasn't dropped. It was like fucking. You know if like someone whips a tennis ball at you. Yeah. Yeah, I had a fucking bruise on my forehead because of it. Like wow. Like it. <sighs> That is the most freaky thing that's ever happened in that home. I know for a fact that there's been no deaths in that home. I know for a fact of, like, the whole history of it, because it was my grandparents that had the home built and shit like that. Yeah. But, man, it was fucking scary, because, I mean, the only thing that could have possibly caused any paranormal shit was the fucking Ouija board, which I used three years prior to that incident. Yeah. I mean, it stayed silent for, like, three fucking years, too. It didn't do shit, like... Like, it did shit for three days in a row, and then it just stopped for three years, and then it started doing crap. Yeah. Like, it... (laughs) Are you sure it couldn't have been just, you know, it falling on its own, or something gonna cause it to fall, or be thrown, or what? The mirror was literally at... Okay, so the bet I had was... Um, I'm not saying you're a liar. I'm just saying they're skeptics out there questioning it. No. Like, I mean, there's no way it could have been fucking... Like, and this thing was yeeted with force. Yeah. And it wasn't, like, dropped, right? Like, the mirror was across from my room where the bones were, and I was watching TV, and I heard a slight noise by my mirror, and I fucking just look over, and I see this fucking bone... Fucking heading right for my fucking face. Damn. I still have it, too. (laughs) I would have gotten rid of that damn thing, to be honest. That was me. But, uh... So... Well, the bone isn't the thing that's fucking, you know, scary. It's the fucking thing of what happened to me. (laughs) Yeah. But, uh... Hmm. So, Um, you have... And also... Like, some basic shit that's also happened at that home, uh, I mean, I'm not claiming that these are anything because this is all shit that, you know, I can't, like, prove or disprove, Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've had things just knocked over and things just randomly falling over, things that have been, you know, standing up for a long period of time and then just, you know, all of a sudden just, like, falling over, like, you know, like pictures and shit like that and just I mean again I can't really I got nowhere to talk on that because I have no idea you know is it paranormal or is it like you know just basic physical like gravity or something yeah so uh I just got a question for you have you ever like encountered like a spirit or apparition yourself like seen anything yeah like physically seen any of that i have never seen i mean not like a person i've or seen you like feel, shadows or, i've or seen shadow figures yeah i've not shadow figures like i mean we've had in the apartment that i'm living in like right now like like this blob you know what i mean it's like a black like fucking shit little it's like a mass is basically the size of uh an African gray parrot, because I mistaked it for my parrot on multiple mm. occasions. Mm. Or do you ever, like, or did you ever I've seen experience... It, I've seen it just dart across the walls in, in like, my old bedroom. Mm. Like, we, we changed bedrooms in the house, but... Yeah. Like, I've just seen it dart across, like, twice. I've seen... I've had shit moved. Um, like, I got a lot of stories about this fucking apartment. Yeah. Well, like, have you ever felt, like, a presence of something, like, spiritual in the room or something? I felt chills, I felt, yeah, I mean, not in, like, well, I mean, this apartment. This apartment is probably the most active place I've lived in for, Mm. you know, spiritual shit. Yeah. But, I mean, Mm. other than that, I really haven't had anything uh, in, like, a place of residence, you know what I mean? Like, a place that I live in. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I can't say the same as you, mate. Well, yeah. You, from what you've been saying, you have a lot of fucked up shit that's happened. I wouldn't necessarily call it fucked up, but I know it's there. <laughs> Let's put it like that. 
I mean, I see, uh-huh. I seen spirits of my past family members, spirits of friends, other spirits that I cannot explain. I've seen them. You, you might be very sensitive to this shit because, like, I mean, I've I've never seen anything other than like shapes and just lights. It's like I've seen Again, this shit. I even seen fucking haunted pets, ghost pets here from the past, where I live. So that is very rare. I've never heard of anybody who's like actually seen like animals. Like, if you can think of one more story of your encounters, I'll tell this one, and then you tell yours, and then I'll fucking tell the big story that I've been telling you recently. I've been... It's like... Yeah, I've seen, like, specifically in the room that I'm in right now, which is a standard regular bedroom, I'm gonna turn into a gaming room, nevertheless. But, uh... I've seen... It's like I seen outlines and I seen uh I seen freaking my grandfather's spirit he passed away in two thousand five years before I got YouTube to go. Has and, I like a question, has any of the spirits tried to communicate with you? Have you heard them say anything, or is it just like the apparition? Uh it's like no, I haven't heard any communication, but I've seen them in there. At, like, nighttime. But you know what's scary? You know what's scary about this? What? Is he one of those ghosts? Is your grandfather one of those ghosts that just stands over your bed? He stands in the... It's like, sometimes I see him near my closet area at night. I don't think nothing of it because I know it's him. Because the room that I'm in used to be his room when he was alive. So, is he a full apparition? Or is he, like, you know... Sometimes he's a full apparition. Some, sometimes it's a disembodied spirit there. Sometimes it's a full apparition there that you can see in detail. But either way, I know it's him standing there. But uh, you know, yeah. this is this is the this was the freakiest time. Freakiest time I knew he was there. You all remember my ex who was on this channel before in my videos yes. in the past. I remember when we first got together shortly after she left here. Mind you, I've never... This was before I even shown you a picture. Shown her a picture of what my grandfather looked like, right? I remember one time she said she seen him in there and described him to the fucking T. And I pulled out a picture and be like, Do you mean this guy? She goes, yes, that was him that I seen him here one night. That freaked me the fuck out. And that's... But I knew he... But I, that's when I knew. It's like, yep. I'm not the only one who sees him. Someone else does, too. So, like, I'm just wondering, why the hell is your house so active? Like, holy shit. I would fucking kill to live in a place like that. It's like, not only that, freaking, uh, my ex also claims that she's seen my grandmother's spirit in the living room, considering, of my house, considering that's where she used to sleep all the time. Hmm. And I believe that, too. now you're... And this is the thing, you're hearing now, like, some, like, consistencies and shit like that. Like, that's... And I also gotta uh, tell you that both me and my ex both saw one of my late friends, who died at the age of 26, somewhere in my house, too, or could have been outside in the backyard. And she described it as he, and she'd never seen a picture of him, either. That's the part that freaked me out the freaking most. Yeah, why is, I mean, yes, he died young, but I just don't see why he would be at your house, you know? Because me and him were, like, close as brothers, like friends, and he liked visiting all the time when he was alive. Maybe, like, his present spirit was also drawn to this place along with his parents' house. And I don't, I'm just wondering, though, so is it, like, when you do see, like, let's say your grandfather, is it always the same, like, Thing. Like, is he always by the closet? Is he always doing the same exact thing? It's like, yeah, pretty much. Every well, time that I could see- possibly be an imprint on the house, you know? Yeah. It's like, I see him by the closet. I mean, I mean, my closet is messy right now, but sometimes I know the exact dang spot that I've seen him a couple times. And he's just sitting there sometimes. It's just like a full operation. Sometimes I 
it's just an outline like a shadow figure that you would see or you know something like that but I, I, I know I've seen them in there before several times I don't think nothing of it because I know okay that's a family member I'm fine with it well, have, you, have you seen anything that's not a family member oh we'll get into that a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, and I told you this story. Even, yeah, I know, and it just seems like stupid. Hey, you you may call it stupid, but it's freaking true. I mean, and I'll get to that story in no, a minute. No, I mean, I'm not saying it's. I'm saying how it got there is probably the most stupid thing. And even though we'll never fully know, it's from my assumptions of what of my experience and shit like that. It, it seems like. Uh, something stupid happened to get that there. There's no reason why that should be there. Yeah, but uh, is there anything else you can think of, like uh, okay, stories well, you heard wanna, or what you see? I want to talk about. I want to talk about more of like the like um, the apartment like I live in right now. Yeah. Um, so, for those who don't know, I moved here probably February third of like last year, and. Um, I used to watch a shit ton of Ghost Adventures and all that. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, you know, I think most of their stuff is Cap. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I like you know in some of the locations. I I, I do like um, a lot of the, the stuff that they contributed to the actual knowledge of you know. Uh, but like as I mean, I believe spirits are real. I believe that one day we'll be able to scientifically prove them. You know. It's like, yeah. I mean, anybody who tells me a go ghosts aren't real, like, I mean, well, neither was, uh, neither was the earth being round at one point. I mean, you know. Jesus Christ, I just well, hope you said that as a joke. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't. The earth, like, gravity wasn't a thing up until it was discovered. Like, you know what I mean? Like, science doesn't know everything. Okay, there's no way it could possibly know everything. And so, uh, if, speaking and if of the Earth, unknown. Speaking of the Earth, did you know that the uh, Flat Earth Society has several thousand members around the globe? <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, but okay. slowly. <laughs> yeah, I know what, it, what you said. <laughs> Anybody who wants to hear that joke and didn't get it, just half speed it and just keep playing it back until you. Yeah, get it. <laughs> what it is, what it is. But going back to your story real quick after that. Okay, joke. well, oh, I can't remember. I lost my spot here. Um, yeah, the um, well, I watched um Zach's movie uh, Demon House, and yeah. then ever since I'm not blaming this on Demon House, um. Uh, I talked with a guy who basically said a whole bunch of shit and, like, what we had to do to get the spirit to, like, stop doing what the fuck it's doing. And, like, I mean, I, it was, like, one of those psychics, but it's, like, you know. What the fuck? It's not. <laughs> I mean, the background, what went off over there. Uh, that was probably my uh, system. But, but anyway. Um, like, you know. I hate those fucking psychics that, like, you know, charge money, you know? It's like, yeah, no, I. You're charging money, and, like, you know, the ones that are, like, charging, like, 200 bucks just to fucking say how to get rid of a spirit, it's like... No. I, I don't trust those. I, I don't trust them at all. <sighs> you know? But, um... Basically, um, when I, uh... Freaking, um... Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Okay, so basically, some shit started happening. I had a, I had a nightmare, there, yeah, er, and um, I don't know if it was related, but I had this nightmare of a goat man um, at the top of a large flight of stairs. I mean, they weren't the stairs of the home that I'm in, but yeah, I mean, it was a freaking large ass flight of stairs, and yeah. um. Basically, one of the main things that fucking um, started happening is just a ton of, like, oh, what the fuck? How did this get in here? <sighs> Hold on. I got a zombie that's literally trying to bite my ass, and I'm beating him with my hoe. He's playing Minecraft, and he's beating him with himself because he is the hoe. 
Exactly. But okay, so the first shit that started happening, and this is what really started freaking me out, because I I've had things tossed on me, which to me was not a big deal. Yeah. But the main thing that started happening is I started, you know, experiencing like shit being moved. Yeah. Like I never seen it being moved. Uh, like I started experiencing, you know, the like my shit just being in a place that it wasn't. And at first, me and my fiance, we were just joking about it because it was always something like, "Oh, my left flip flop." It was always my left. Why not your right? Oh yeah, I, I don't think know. I, it was. Oh yeah, I think I remember you telling me some about that story last year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I send you a whole bunch of pictures too. Yeah. But the main thing is, though, like, the freakiest time is, like, you know, me and Bree were, like, you know, sitting in the living room, and my flip-flops were by the door. I went to go take out the trash or something. I go to put them on. No, my left one's missing. <laughs> she was with me the entire time, so I know it wasn't her. <laughs> and, it again, it just kept being passed around like a little joke. Like, you know what I mean? We just didn't give a shit, you know? <laughs> But then it started getting serious. Like, mm. um, soon we're, I, I was once looking for my shoe. I opened the door and it dropped from the ceiling. Mm. Right? Uh, yeah. No, that that, that was me. Was if like, that was me, I'd be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here now. No. Well, I mean, th again, it's a fucking foam flip flop. We we joked about it for a lot more. Yep. The scary part is when the knives started being moved. Oh, yeah, we fuck that. We had full-size kitchen knives being, like, fucking moved. Litting across, like, the tables and all that shit. Yeah. I found one one day stabbed into the ceiling of my apartment. Oh, shit, fuck that. For me, that would have been a sign, like, pack your shit, I'm fucking leaving, man. <laughs> fuck that. They that is the point where it. I actually start throwing actual help. Spirits starting to throw knives or move knives and throw them up and shit. Fuck that. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about picture frames. I went... <laughs> like, there I mean, I've minute. never really been... I've never been really scared of, of spirits in my life up until that point. Because when they're fucking with your knives and possibly maybe going to be throwing <laughs> one at you, there's... That's well, where... It's like, that's it, where it, it's like... It nope. never... It never was, I never felt like it was being aggressive towards me. Like, I've had one knife slide across the counter, like, away from me when I went to grab it. Yep. And that, like, freaked me the fuck out. But, like, when it was on the ceiling, all I could think of, what happens if that I was under that, didn't notice it, like, you know, in the middle of the night, and it just dropped, you know? Yeah, it could have stabbed you right in the head. Next thing you know, um, no more cre no more creepy monkey ever. <laughs> basically, uh, like, I, I uh, got in contact with psychic and shit like that, and I know a lot of people don't believe in psychics and shit, and I know I don't believe in a lot of psychics because a lot of them, to me, just are, you know, fuckers in it for the money. Yeah. But, so, uh, like... Uh, yeah, long story short, what we found out was it was a very powerful spirit, but it was the spirit of a little girl who was pissed off because me and Brianna were always talking about having a son, and, and it just felt inferior or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jealous ghost. He said, pissed off ghost. He said, all I ha he said all we had to do was basically just accept that, you know, it's okay if it's like, you know, a... a a boy or a girl when we do have kids and we we think we did because it like we started discussing you know about the possibilities of having a girl and shit like that and it just stopped like flat mm. out just n nothing ever happened ever since man that's fucking weird I mean again it was like fucking knives my flip flops other shit around the house was good but like I mean it was just like little trinkets right and it was it was almost like it was pulling pranks, right? It would just fucking move shit to, like, inconvenience. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I want my flip-flops, you know? Yeah. Nope. That's gone. And maybe then, she, um... Maybe she was a lefty. Well, I mean, there was a hook in a corner of the house 
where, I mean, me and Brianna didn't know that this was there, right? We didn't know that there was, like, you know, I don't even know what the previous tenants were using it for because it's in such a fucking weird spot. We just use it for a fly trap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, sandwiched in between a bump in the ceiling, like, you know, where a vent is and then the cupboard. But my flip-flop was hanging on that. I was looking for that flip-flop for about, like, three weeks. Brianna was looking for it for about three weeks. Yeah, and then we just found it you. one day. Notice it. Holy shit. Fuck that, man. Okay, we're about over a half hour into this podcast here. Um, I think it's about time that we alluded to this all day for the last half hour, so I might as well tell my stories. What got you wanting to discuss this in the first place? That's my other screwed up experiences. And oh my god, it's something I never want to experience again. Your <laughs> shit was fucking nothing. I had nine move. Yeah, it was still <laughs> freaky, man. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, in my position, I mean, it was still freaky, freaky man. Yes. I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, yours wasn't. Yours wasn't here for my life type of freaky. It wasn't no... It, yeah, you're right. It wasn't no we had knives thrown at us shit, but it was still fucking weird and out of the norm. Oh, I know, but with what, the way you describe it, like, you had, like, the shit thrown at you, right? I've never had it thrown at me. Like, the knives were never, like, fucking thrown at me. That... Okay, but can I get on with my story and you can put your input through each interval here? All my friends... They like to go ghost hunting, except for me. I'm I don't screw with dead things. You know that. I always been that way. And right. you now, my opinion on that, like that shit, though, I don't like you know messing with the spirit world. I and when I do, it's always you know very respectful. I I mean, I I don't feel like pissing off the dead. Yeah, especially because we don't know it. Like, I know that they can do things, and I know that we have almost no knowledge on them, which is why I really think science needs to actually, you know, invest in yeah. actually seeing this shit, because I know it's real. You know, yeah. I remember I remember one night, I don't know if the sightings came from this or a previous one that they went on that I wasn't with them, but I remember here in my town, they went to the... The one, the cemetery that has a reputation of being the most haunted one. Because of, because of privacy, I don't want people to know which town I live in. I'm not even going to name it. But, uh... Uh, I can just reassure you that there's, um, seven, uh, like, cemeteries with the same fucking name in your country. So. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. But anyway, but anyway, apparently that, that, that cemetery has a haunted reputation of a ghost sighting of a little boy there, a ghost sighting of a deranged freaking murder maniac, and a deranged sighting of a witch that can fuck with you at any minute. Like, are we talking, like, fuck with you, or like, fuck with you? I'm talking like, fuck with you, fuck with you. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, that, at least that's the legend Hoping. going around in my town, Okay. But, but is it uh, a sexy witch? <laughs> I don't think any ghosts are sexy, bro. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you may be watching Danny Phantom, but you gotta freaking remember that movie was animated. <laughs> oh, fuck Danny Phantom. I hated that show. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Maybe because I never could watch it. I didn't have Disney shit. <laughs> Thought Danny Phantom was Nickelodeon, but oh well. Screw oh, it. That's okay, not the fine. point. Well, That's I, not I the point here. <laughs> I went from trios to history and discovery. Yeah, well, that's not the freaking no, I mean, point here. But the point here, this cemetery, I don't know if they said anything to rile up the spirits there or what happened or what the case was. Mostly because I w was against that idea anyway. I didn't want to do it, but I was drugged to do it. I went with them to do it anyway. But, uh... We got back to the house after all that was shut done. Some weird things started happening that couldn't be explained. Now, mind you, my bedroom door is like several feet away from where this picture frame was being hung in the hallway. I'd say about a good four or five feet. 
Even if it fell off, it couldn't reach my door, right? Next thing I know, I hear a fucking bang on my door. I open it up, and there's a freaking picture right there in front of my door. Like, something, a force threw it over there. In that direction. Okay, may, may I ask, what was the picture? It was like, you know, one of them big-ass antique, like, snow painting pictures. Oh, like, so it, was, it, it was a like, heavy one. It wasn't a light one. It was a heavy one. Yeah, what? Uh, but, it, it, like, the photograph in it was, like, a painting. Yeah, it was, like, a painting of, like... Kind of like the woods in Canada in the snow time. That's what it looked like. Okay. Like so a bunch of trees covered in snow. Yeah, so basically my country right now. Yeah, pretty much. It was the photo. It was a heavy one, too, so it was light, so there's no way it could have been light, even if it just fell off. Okay. Even I'm if... just going to make this very clear to any ghosts that potentially are watching this looking up for a new home. You fuck with my paintings, I, I, will, I will fuck with your entire gender... I will. I will find out how to fucking pull off a real Ghostbusters maneuver. I will proton pack your damn shit. I don't know what I'll fucking do, but I'll find out how to do it. Or they'll just put. Or they'll just pull you down by force and fuck you with their invisible dick. Anyway. They anyway, can go, do that. Anyway, go, ghosts can do anything. But back to the story. Back to the story. <laughs> they can vote. Going back to the story here, just quit getting off topic. I remember there was like, I remember in the few weeks that followed, um, that particular incident, I couldn't even explain it. I'm like, how the fuck does that happen? But I remember a couple in the next several weeks that followed that incident, there was like a picture framed of me, smaller picture, like, you know, a regular school picture was, right? And I uh-huh. remember. It was like me from middle school. I was an ugly kid, by the way. I still, well, I swam an ugly adult, so that should explain a lot. But I think it was from my middle school days. And like every time we would leave the room, nobody would be in the living room. It would transfer from the like table it was sitting on in the hallway and just magically appear on one of the chairs in the living room like every night, multiple times a night. Would you see it move ever? It's like no, and nobody was in the room. Ever. Have you ever seen any of the pictures move? It's like no, but I heard the one being flung across the hallway that night. So I know something was going on, but there was nothing out there, nothing in the hallway, nothing in the house. There was nobody in the house at that time except for me and my ex, and we were both in the same room at that time. Yeah, and I highly doubt your dog can strategically pick up a picture from a table and put it on a chair. My dog was also in the room at the time, so obviously, <laughs> obviously well, that I was mean, impossible. Well, I then, I don't think a dog can pick up a picture. Well, yes, I know what you mean. Put it on a chair. Yeah, and every time, like that, kept happening for like weeks. I remember one time, one time freaked me out. One time, me and my ex and my friends were like out on the front porch right we were like smoking don't start smoking kids don't be like me be better than me that's my disclaimer for this video but then all and mind you the front door we had was totally closed and locked right to where it wouldn't be easily pushed open you have to turn the knob you know what i'm you know what i'm saying right yeah and then all of a sudden out of nowhere the door just comes flying right open there was nobody on the other side like, of it how much force though was in the like it, door it, it opened like it opened like it normally would if, say, you were walking out the front door. No, it wasn't just a freaking swinging open door no. deal. It was like a. It was like a normal like, way how you would open a door. It's like almost like there was someone walking through it at the exact same time. Yes. But there was nobody walking in, and nobody was getting in the house, and nobody was and walked what, out. What the was house. the weather like that day? Like windy at all or anything it wasn't even really windy though i think this was like the summer or fall time when it's like hot where i live and like we have those muggy nights so that was kind of trippy to me for me to see i mean there could be a logical explanation behind that but i couldn't figure one out considering it never does that and that, that's why that's what like i do when i'm like i never fucking jump to the oh it's a ghost but, you, but know, you know, there are some things like, I just can't explain that kind of point to that. 
I mean, I've seen spirits. Yeah. I've seen spirits before, so I'm kind of persuaded in that direction. But there could be a logical explanation for anything. But most of the shit that I encountered, there's real no logical explanation of how it happened. Besides that paranormal activity, you, you get what I'm saying, right? I, I I do. Like, I mean, that's. Of course, one time that freaked me out was when my ex said she saw thing or the phantom doing that shit the, the thing or the phantom whatever demon ghost whatever you want to call it she, she, she saw it she said she actually saw it once she said it was like an old native american woman from that time period doing that now i don't know if it came from the cemetery they went to or any other area but if that's the case i'm like where did it come from and uh me and her broke up. I'm not going into detail, but after, but after she moved out, there's been it, no sightings like that since. It's just gone, right? It's just gone. I wonder if there's still like that still happening to her. I don't know, but I do have to mention this, and I don't know, I don't know why this happened, what caused this why it happened but I remember this was just the middle of last year and no me and me and my ex been broken up since late 2019 I'm not going into detail that's my business so don't even ask why but uh me too why did you break up oh cause shit happens that's all an answer you're gonna get cause I am not making that public but uh I remember one night I was sleeping here in my room. It was like middle of the night. I think it was like July, August, somewhere in there. Sleeping in the middle of the night last year. Just like last summer. All of a sudden, like, I kind of woke up. I had, like, sweats. I was sweating a lot. Couldn't even freaking move my arm, and I felt like something was on my chest. And I look up, and I swear I seen, like, some kind of demon figure staring at me for, like, a few seconds. And then it just disappeared. It was a it, it was just your dog. It was just your dog. It, was like, it wasn't my dog. Like he was. It wasn't like my dog. Paralysis and your dog. It wasn't my damn dog. He was sleeping <laughs> literally I at the end of the bed. That's the comments we're getting. Well, it wasn't my dog. He was sleeping at the end of the bed. So well, I don't I know mean, what the yeah, fuck I was going on. I don't think that would be your dog. Like, I mean, I've, I I'm pretty sure that... I would have recognized my dog if it was. And uh, even my roommate. That lives here now said he had this somewhat of a similar experience to some strange creature so I don't know what the hell is going on I haven't had any paranormal activity since then but I know yeah, I, haven't I know had that any freaked me out not, time, though. I know that freaked me out and I don't want to fucking uh, something that I never want to see ever again oh like a, yeah I know that shit is the, the stuff I fear like you know the actual you know not like human type of shit, you know? Yeah. And I'm not talking like dogs and cats. No, oh, ghost kitty. Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, ghost dog. Yeah, fuck. I love the show Frank and Weenie. Or the movie or whatever the fuck. But no, no. I'm talking like fucking demons and shit. No. Get up on out of here. And Greta, none of these experiences I had were ever caught on camera. They weren't caught on video from me, that's for damn sure, because if it was, they would have been up on my channel already. Oh, I've been trying to catch, like, shit on my end, but I never could fucking get it. Yeah, and sh but, you know, it's like, it is what it is. Does it make me a believer? Yes, I believe in spirits and shit. I know for a fact not everyone's going to. I mean, you do have your skeptics out there, but it really, it, it's died, really up to you. It's really up to you whether you believe yeah, in that or not. And I know our stories ain't gonna convince anybody that spirits are real or or anything like that. But tr or they'd be like, "Oh, they're just making this up, stories up for the podcast." I'm like, "Yeah, that this is stuff I can't." Over there. It's like you can't call cab on us. We're pretty fucking dumb, okay? We couldn't make up stories that sounded that good for a freaking <laughs> podcast, even if we wanted to. I mean, 
This guy, I was about this to guy, argue Chris, with you, but yeah, I know you're, you're guy, absolutely fucking right. I mean, this guy, Chris, is probably one of the dumbest people I freaking know. Okay. If I made up a story, um, yeah. So I went, so I went into this house, right, and then there was this ghost, and it was white, and uh, you smoked a bong with it, <laughs> yeah. or something. I don't know. And then I found out it was Halloween, and it was just an old barn, and um, yeah, it wasn't weak. <laughs> so whether you're a believer or not it's really up to you it's really just we can't convince you otherwise but uh i just hope you enjoyed our stories that we had to share um so i hope you like it share it with your friends subscribe to this guy when are you gonna upload a video again uh, as soon as i uh figure out and have time to actually fucking change my thing to 18 plus I have like fucking five videos and I'm just waiting to send the fucking, you know, uh, you know, send them all up and it's just, it's just taking a little bit of time to actually, you know, do it. get some of the things done, you know? Yeah. I do work, you know, like fucking ten hours a day, five days a week. <laughs> I mean, maybe not soon because of fucking bullshit happening, but... Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Fucking so, borders being fucking closed. Fucking preventing. But anyway, but anyway, this has been this has been the D two and I guess now we can call this the D two and creepy show, or the D two and creepy podcast. Anyway, uh, they I gotta have we, like a fun, catchy name for your podcast. Come on, dude! Like the fucking. Uh, the D uh, D two and the creep two, show. Two ghosts, one proton pack, or something. You know. That sounds like some kind of paranormal. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do you think they're? Uh, do you think they're going to click on whatever the fuck you title it? No. They think they're. You think Being you're going to click? Misleading. Anyway, whatever. This is the D two and creep show. I don't care anymore. And uh, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, spooky tales with D two and creepy monkey. There you go. That's the title. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>